for you tonight or today or wherever you're at. Um, I just wanted to thank you for coming, I mean for stopping by and uh, watching my video recipe and um, you know I want to tell you that I don't get any um, finances for this. I mean I do this strictly on my own. It's like from my heart to your heart and um, I, I just wanted to say that because um, you know a lot of people monetize their videos and that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing this for my own personal purpose and my own personal growth and I just wanted to say that before I started this because I've had other videos and and but um, this is so much fun for me and I enjoy doing it and I hope you enjoy it and um, I've, been, I've been called Betty Crocker <laughs> I wish <laughs> I'm not Betty Crocker <laughs> well maybe I have a, just a little bit anyways um, I'm gonna make some um, fish tacos a red snapper and um, I have my red snapper actually marinating in some kefir which is a type of yogurt and it's got um, probiotics in it and I know I'm a little bit on the health side and um, and so I had instead of the buttermilk but you can use the buttermilk but I wanted to try the kefir because I, I kind of like it and to me it's a little bit lighter and I also like the buttermilk oh I, I don't omit buttermilk on some of my recipe recipes but I do enjoy the kefir so I thought because I had it in my refrigerator and I didn't want to get a whole thing of buttermilk I'm going to use kefir because I actually use kefir for pancakes and a lot of my um, baking stuff. So anyways, um, it's marinating in kefir and I am going to wash my hands so we can get going and get our um, and get our tacos going here and it shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long to get these done. So this is a really quick and easy um, this is a quick and easy recipe, so I hope you enjoy it as I enjoy sharing it with you. Let me wash my hands so we can get going. So. Alrighty, I got some towel, paper towels over here. They should be over there, but I only have a little limited of space. So what I'm going to do is, uh, while that's marinating, I have some, um, so I found this in the store, and it's a, it's a corn that's already been charred, and all I have to do is reheat it. So when I, instead of um, reheating, I'm just going to stick it right back in my skillet. It's been seasoned, cleaned out, and seasoned, and re-seasoned, and I'm just going to add just a little bit of um, cooking oil and just dump that in there. You can use any kind of cooking oil. You can use coconut oil, you can use extra virgin olive oil, or you could use whatever your heart's desire. And then I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in that. Got my little salt and pepper here. Just a little touch. And anyways, kind of sizzle up and while that's heating up I'm going to go ahead and start um, cutting my fillets here for you. Um, I just have, um, sorry about that, I just have regular um, scissors, oh, well they're not regular scissors, they're kitchen scissors and what I'm going to do is cut my fillet with them instead of using the knife. <laughs> I'm cheating a little. <laughs> but is that, maybe that is kind of Betty Crocker, right? <laughs> so I'm going to cut them probably about a couple like inch or so. Just cut those up. Really easy to make. And if you see any of the little spiny bones, just discard them. I kind of went through them already. And um, so I was like, what about the spiny, the spiny bones? You're going to put them in tacos? Well, of course you have to. Um, you have to discard them. You have to go through them and pull them out. And so this is a red snapper that I have in there. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's red snapper. 
and I'm going to, and this is a half cup of the flour, over first flour, and this is a half cup of, of the flour, corn flour. It's actually corn flour. It's not medium grain, and I just, I wanted that flour texture. Now, I also use that for my cornbread. And then what I have here is I have, um, I have uh, a variety of spices, and what I put in there was I did a little bit of Cajun spice, so it has, um, if you can find it anywhere, the Cajun spice um, has salt in it, and then, um, and I like the Louisiana Cajun spice, so, and then, um, and then I have the garlic, granulated garlic, I have some smoked paprika, I got a little bit, a touch of cumin, probably a quarter of the teaspoon, and some mustard, some dried mustard, and I also have some, um, uh, granulated onion and some ground pepper just a little bit because I didn't want to overpower it with the other um, the other uh, uh, spices so I'm just going to stick that all in there, oh, there you go. just kind of stir it up with my little tiny whisk oops <laughs> sometimes I'm a messy cook oh well I wish I was uh, tidy like some of the, your um, your cooks, but I'm not. See a little tiny whisk. <laughs> so I'm gonna. At first I thought this is a toy, <laughs> but it's not a toy. It's actually a whisk. So oh, I'll use it for my for my um, for when I want to mix my spices. So this is almost done. That's going to go in my taco. And it will be a spoon. Get a little bit of spoon here and try. Mmm. That's good. It's kind of sweet. Mm hmm. And so, put that in there. And scoop it out there. And I'm going to put it on the side and save it. Oh, God, that's really, really good. I can't seem to get it all out. Get a spoon here. For me. 
And like I said in previous videos that my grandkids can see me. Watch grandma cook. And maybe their grandkids, I mean, maybe their kids when they get up, if they decide to have any. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of ball, a little ball build up there on my fingers. So. And of course, I'm going to have some left over. But it doesn't mean I have to discard it. I could either throw it in the freezer and reuse it for a later time. Or I can make a little bit of hush puppies with it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be making tacos. Alrighty. So, um, put these in. Oh yeah, it's nice and sizzly, nice and hot, but not too hot where it gets burned. I want to cook them. I want to thoroughly cook them. Alrighty, well that's going. Let's see, that's not hard at all. And I'll probably get about about six tacos out of that. You know, depending on how big you want your tacos and how you want them. Anyway, put this up and I'm gonna rinse this and use the other side.
can make a mango salsa in it, so. There you go. That up. Okay, that's about done. But yeah, how do I know it's done? Because of the heat temperature that I was manipulating over here, and my timing, and probably because I've been cooking for so long. I'm sure you can Google the exact precise time of it, but um, I'm not going to get that in depth, not today. So I'm going to chiffon on my veggies and uh, my, uh, I'm not chiffon on, excuse me, use a mandolin to um, do the dressing for the top. It checks up real quick. Yes, still on. <laughs> Want to make sure. So what I'm doing here is, I'm sure some of you have mandolins. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Huh? Put that back on there for. Oh yeah. I want to make sure. Let me get that brown browning in them. I want, I want the browning. Make sure I get the browning going. And I want it really thin sliced. Careful with your fingers. Kind of want to keep it down and hold the, the thing there that it shows. And I know I'm talking, but I'm watching this very carefully and I've seen some accidents. So please. Be very careful, and if you're in a professional kitchen, try not to talk while you're doing it. And that's going to give it a nice thin slice and save me some time. How cool. What a life. 
I would take that life any old day. Right. Go and party with the people and learn about their cuisine. Heck yeah! So these are seedless, and I'm just going to squeeze some in there. Okay. What too much? I don't want too much in there, so I'm going to sprinkle some salt and pepper mixture in there. Just kind of give that a whirl. And of course I'm going to taste it because I want it to be flavorful. Those are going to be fantastic tacos. I'm not going to do any of that mayo stuff. Oh, and I'm going to put a little bit of my California extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> and my, there are olive oils from different regions, and I love olive oils, but of course I can't get them all, but. But that was about, um, I'd say that was about a table, a good tablespoon. Just gonna make it like into a like a nice little vinaigrette. Mm. I could just eat it just like that. Mm. Anyway, that habit. You could use that for your pozole. You could use that for your, um, I don't know, some diapers. For much anything. Okay. So, make that cilantro. I'm gonna get some cilantro and just kind of. Oh, I love cilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> So I'm going to put some of that in there. Then I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I had a sample of it. It was an organic, um, this is an organic um, avocado, and I'm telling you, oh, just love them. I love the organic avocados. But, I also like the other one. I, there, um, there was, there were some that I was using that weren't quite so organic. But there's something about an organic. Look at how beautiful that comes out, and it's so creamy. They're really, really creamy, and I'm like, oh, I'm in heaven. I wish I get these all year round, which I probably could, but then they probably would not be as um, economical. So nowadays we gotta watch our, our pickles even. So I got these on sale. These were on sale and, and you know whatever's on sale. Just get whatever. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing that I'm I'm using here. You know what? I'm gonna wash my hands again. Because I remember I was using that cow. I caught myself Trade towels here. Sorry. Anyways. So I put that in, mixture in. Squeeze a little bit of that. Lime juice in there. And I want to get this jalapeno pepper.
little ends out. Yeah. 